Psalms chapter 16 and verse 11. It says, God will show me the path of life. So we're on the path of life. The path of life leads to paradise. The path of life leads to glory, which the glory is the kingdom of heaven. And we're on that path of life. We're walking on the path of the tree of life to gain eternal life. There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And I said, It is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, Even so also is Israel's portion, because for their sakes I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was decreed that now is done. Then were the entrances of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. For the entrances of the elder world were wide and short and brought immortal fruit. If then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. The book of Psalms, chapter 16, and verse 11. It says, God will show me the path of life. So we're on the path of life. The path of life leads to paradise. The path of life leads to glory, which the glory is the kingdom of heaven. And we're on that path of life. We're walking on the path of the tree of life to gain eternal life. We're not fighting for riches of this world. We're not fighting for a position in this world. We're not fighting for a plot of land in this world to where we can claim our stake, you know, and uh, have an inheritance with the rest of the world. No, when we get our inheritance, we're going to get everything. Yeah, it is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of a savior glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever so be it giving our praises honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Oka Kodash and double honor the mighty church the apostles the elders and the bishops of great millstone Shalom to the Akim Ravai, that are sincere and serious in knowing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Makar Kodash, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, the world. Yem the brother, the disciple Koshaba, and Yemen from the branch of the great Nelson Barbados, and this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, a verse. He is the best of the best to rule. Six, five. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
Psalm 16, this is what you heard. Uh, the Apostle Ariam Lab read, but he didn't finish reading. I don't know it was put together by Brother Manatazat Banyamin, so subscribe to him. But when he heard it, I had to look up a couple words in this chapter here, Psalm 16. So let me go to verse 11, let me go back up. Thou will show me the path of life. You heard the Apostle broke it down. We are on our way to righteousness, to having the tree of life, immortality. In thy presence is fullness of joy. So in the Lord's presence, meaning we, we, we are going to be joint ears with our Lord, is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And the word fullness, figuratively joy, fullness satisfying, be satisfied. Because on this side, man, the scripture says we earn wages to put into a bag with holes. These riches turn to rust. You know, just roughly quoting these scriptures, huh? So that's worth a fullness. Now the word joy, exceedingly gladness, joyfulness. The streets will be full of boys and girls playing. Let me get that scripture, man. The streets will be full of boys and girls playing, man. And ain't got nothing to worry about. You see? The streets will be full of boys and girls playing. Like that beautiful day, boy. Boys and girls playing. And the animals will be, they will have dominion over the animals too. You understand? Zechariah 8, verse 5. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Imagine that. Huh? Verse 8. And I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness, man. Whoa. So we get another scripture. You know, back in Psalm 16, 11, Thou will show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand is at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Right? Pleasures, pleasant, delightful. You say anything you could dream of having right now you can't get before you even think about it in the kingdom God's gonna give you it man. So we're getting back at Psalm 16 and 6. In fact, let me start up for you. The Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, is the portion of my inheritance and my and of my cup. Don't maintain as my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yeah, I have a goodly heritage. So I was curious about this word lines, right? Get about to Lamar, maybe, etc. Right? And the royal lines come from the royal cabal. It says, with implication, a district, a district, you know, you live in a district. The district you live in is, X, is, is this address or that address. A district or inheritance. So there's an inheritance waiting for us, B. You understand? There's an inheritance waiting for us, a portion, a region, right? And there's one when it says an estate, man. Ah, look at here, this is from the word, this is from um, the word heritage. Let me read it again, then close. Psalm 16, verse 6, the lines are fallen under me. In pleasant places, yeah, in pleasant places. Did not your Lord say, I go to prepare a place for you? So there's, hey, really, Lord God for me, man. It's worth fighting for me. You understand? It's worth fighting for. 
right? Here I have a goodly heritage, and this word heritage, this word heritage, from the word Nakhala, and it reads, simply put, an estate, a heritage, possession. So, boy, one more scripture, man. Then again, shot, shot, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful. Yo, this is John, Saint John. 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Many mansions, man. Residence. <laughs> the app or the place abode, mansion. And I just read you in the, in the, in the other definition, estate, right? So, Lord, we're not really long off. We wait him, man. We wait him for us, be. You know what I mean? Isaiah 64 and 4 says, What? Um, what he had prepared for, for them that waited for him. Hey, boy. Jeez, all right, boy. He's brother in, in, he brother in um, Arkansas say he want planet. Hey, boy. <laughs> you, if you foresee it, you host on this side, you mean you can't get it. Oh, he saw take it away. He was going to give you a planet. <laughs> He's going to give you a mansion. You're going to rule. You're going to be a ruler of many, a ruler of many cities, B. That's what you want, boy. Anyhow, man. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Makar Kodash Baraka Thumb. Nigga, just let this here play. You know what I mean? Finish off, man. Shalom. Receive those that are laid up for them. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. The book of Psalms, chapter 16, and verse 11. It says, God will show me the path of life. So we're on the path of life. The path of life leads to paradise. The path of life leads to glory. Which the glory is the kingdom of heaven. And we're on that path of life. We're walking on the path of the tree of life to gain eternal life. We're not fighting for riches of this world. We're not fighting for a position in this world. We're not fighting for a plot of land in this world to where we can claim our stake, you know, and uh, have an inheritance with the rest of the world. No, when we get our inheritance, we're going to get everything.